Yeah, I mean, I'd say the, the key element I've recognized um, is that, and again, I'll just speak about this uh, having experienced in men's spaces, is the need to, to resensitize the capacity to feel. Like, really, that's a huge piece of it. Um, that men uh, who've grown up in the dominant culture, which has largely um, caused them to suppress their capacity to feel, uh, that this is a huge piece of work that a lot of men actually need to do, almost like at the base, is just reawaken the capacity to feel. It's actually that sort of basic in some ways, but also that powerful. Um, because a lot of that inability to feel, like I'd say, like a lot of modern cultures, um, uh, I'd say men, in a way, will do so much to not feel, which is like such a, you know, maybe there's like getting nods. Uh, as in, you know, head to alcohol, head to, I mean, violence, head to, because they're in a way they, they, they feel so scared of feeling actually. Right. And, and I'll speak to this as well. You know, my experience is because I've, I know I grew up in that way too, not overt sort of uh, emotional suppression in a way, but still it's in the culture. Right. And I was looked to, to be a kind of rock and the, you know, the one that had it together and, and could support others. And, so in some ways, I, I began to just train myself, right, to be like, oh, I have to kind of keep it together. And at the same time, the, the uh, inability to like trust emotions, like it's such an interesting thing when you can kind of almost say it that way. Yeah, because from the rational intellectual brain, which a lot of men are trained into, and the system is, it's almost like uh, Philip, uh, this, uh, I can't remember his last name now, but I interviewed this fellow embodiment coach, uh, Philip Shepard, and he said uh, he said that he said, um, it's like sitting up in the citadel, you know, of, of the tower and like looking down at the like messiness of the emotional realm and all that and being like, so glad I'm not down there. Uh, as if it has nothing to teach, right? As if it has nothing to, to reveal. And that to me has been a big piece of work and I'm yeah, still in, I don't, I don't pretend like I've solved that, but I see that as like such a key piece of territory because if, if men could trust emotions and had the spaces where they could actually fully allow them to feel, then they would reveal what they're trying to teach through their expression. Mm, well, just, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's like the emergent edge is actually you can't know beforehand because then you're you're in your mind already, right? You're like, oh, if I get this is what's going to happen. And you're like, no, no, no. You have to actually surrender to it, and then it reveals itself, which is such a uh, opposition to the training that men have, right? Which is don't trust it. It's vulnerable. It's weak. Don't surrender. Um, yeah, don't surrender, which I would also say is a feminine quality, of course, not feminine in the sense of, of women, but a lot of women, I guess, are given more permission to feel uh, in, in these cultures than uh, men are allowed to. And so in that sense, yeah, that's a huge territory that, that men have to like really reawaken. Mm -hmm.